So, hello everyone. Uh, this demo will be super quick. Uh, so, basically, what we've done, let me zoom in. But basically, what we've done, uh, if you install the most recent uh, Thanos and you perform uh, Thanos config, uh, you will see a new configuration uh, file that has uh, extended options. So, for example, we added a new uh, configuration option under hardware that is GPU model. It corresponds to uh, GPU model uh, that you are running. And then there are some additional options like OpenBLAST version, OpenMPA, API version, uh, and uh, base image and stuff like that. So uh, these are new configuration options that you can find in .yaml file, and they are automatically submitted to backend. They propagate through the whole uh, workflow, through the all workflows that we have on the backend side. And uh, advisor has these configuration options uh, or understands these configuration options, and we are adding new, uh, we are able to add new pipeline units to Resolver so that these uh, configuration options are taken into account. And uh, we are also able to uh, produce recommendations that are targeting uh, these configuration options. As of now, we have, uh, I think, two pipeline units uh, that benefit from these configuration options. The first one is basically checking what GPU model you provide and uh, what uh, uh, CUDA, CUDA version uh, is available. So if there is no GPU model, but we detect that CUDA is present on a machine, we do not do uh, GPU enabled recommendations and we print that fact to users. Uh, another one is, so uh, just to, uh, to add to that, so we are able to produce recommendations that GPU model, uh, the given GPU model runs uh, on that specific CUDA version and stuff like that. Uh, the other uh, pipeline unit that we have is based on uh, the base image uh, that uh, is used to run uh, the application. And we check that uh, if users use uh, TOT enabled uh, S2I base images, and uh, we uh, produce recommendations that are specific to TOT S2I container images. And that's something uh, I will talk uh, in the upcoming demo that is focused on solvers and .s2i. But uh, in this demo, you will see that we have new configuration option. What's also new is that Thanos is no longer tight tightly coupled with user API. So in older versions of Thanos, Thanos used uh, vaguer models that are exposed on user API and generated a client out of these models. That's no longer true because it required tight coupling Tamos version and user API version. So right now, uh, Tamos understands uh, versions of endpoints that we have. So when you do Tamos advice, uh, it Tamos discovers uh, versions available uh, on user API and uses appropriate uh, version of endpoint, the, possibly the most recent one that is uh, currently V1, uh, to submit requests to advices. Uh, the important thing is uh, that uh, there is no tight coupling. So uh, next time we introduce a new configuration change or additional configuration options, uh, you can still use TAMOS uh, in older versions uh, with uh, user API uh, that uh, exposes these versions. Uh, previously, this was not true, and we were required to match user API and Tamos version. So uh, that's uh, some improvement on user on user side. Do you have any questions? Yes. Uh, could you switch back to the config file itself? Um, I think we are exposing all the null values um, for visibility, right? So that is people see these options to access, correct? These are the default values and means that not, nothing was detected. Okay. Um, and uh, do you think we uh, should sort by key? Because um, if you look at the first half, there's some CUDA stuff. In the second half, there's some CUDA stuff. Maybe it's uh, easier to read if we really sort by key. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I sorted it based on operating system hardware and then. But yeah, I know. Uh, Human uh, stuff. Um, that's uh, that's good. I I didn't get the point about the GPU model. So you you think we infer the CUDA version to be used from the GPU model that is present and that we have detected? Correct. That's what you said. Um, no. Basically, if we detect uh, some uh, specific CUDA version present in a software environment, and we know we have uh, the knowledge that that specific CUDA version does not work with. Uh, the GPU that is present on the machine, and we do not do GPU-based recommendations. Also, if we do not find any GPU model present on the machine, then it means even though CUDA is available, we cannot do GPU computations. Got it. So we are not recommending broken stacks based on the information that we discovered. So we okay. know how to fit software and hardware. Exactly. Cool. Thanks. Any any other questions? Thank you.